But again, let us test the, the hypothesis that we want. So in this case, so I need to turn this into structural equation modeling. So to do that, I'm going to remove, first of all, the relationship, the covariates. I will knock them out. Then I'm going to select the dependent variable and put it this way. So to do this, I'm going to select this. This is the customer satisfaction. One, two, three, four. I'm going to select this to enable me move. So I, I want to take it to this side and then rotate. So I want to rotate it this side. Then I can go to the view. Um, and change this to um, landscape A4, right? So I've got one of the variables down. So what do I need to do? Value for money, I need to pull it up here. And then Take it up. Oh. So I'm going to select this. So that all of them can move together when I do that. So I'll select it and put it right in here. And then I would select. I'm also going to select this. And then I'm going to move this to this point. Oh, this wasn't properly selected. Okay. Then I would deselect. So the next thing I need to do is to draw the relationships because these are the three independent variables this time. So predicting customer satisfaction. So I just want to see. Uh, to see whether they predict them pretty well okay and I'm gonna use these to make it look good 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 so this automatically has turned to um, this has automatically turned this analysis to structural equation modeling then I'm going to correlate going to correlate so having done this the next thing I need to do is to select the analysis that I want to see I want to see the, the impact or the effect or whatever um, the, the, the influence whatever you want to call it and then I want to do a bootstrap uh, confidence interval at 95% confidence interval and and then I will save. Oops. Okay. Then Emos is telling me to add the error term. So I need to add the error term. If I do not add the error term, Emos will not run. So click OK. And analysis runs. So remember that I've used the same model fit result, the same model fit result. You can see the same model fit result still applies to this analysis at this time. But now I am making predictions that I want to see how they are relating. So if I put my bootstrap confidence interval, so you can see that um, um, how that predicting to each other uh, how they are actually predicting the analysis so I want to um, so you can see this so I'm going to copy this and they put into my results so you can see that um, customer satisfaction here uh, customer satisfaction Customer satisfaction 
and uh, this is supports this is product experience and this is value for money value for money this is product experience and this is customer support customer support so you can see that yeah normally um, that customer support predicts customer satisfaction okay and then uh, when you give um, in this analysis when you give the um, support feedback support when you give support to uh, your customers and when you give uh, the product experience also also enhances their customer satisfaction but in this case it does appear that we do not um, have uh, value for money predicting customer satisfaction among the uh, among the participants okay so this is how you can demonstrate this is how you can uh, uh, run a factual analysis and then progress from factual analysis to um, testing your assumptions what you feel that um, is actually the there is uh, what you want to find out so you can see these are my hypotheses all right and so this is hypothesis one so i can put i can put my um i can just add one um, let me just add here and call this interpretation interpretation i can say okay let me make this table look good so someone is not going to get confused so i can say supported hypothesis supported or accepted whatever supported or accepted but this one not supported okay so this is how you um, you analyze your this is how you make you, you test your assumption what you want to do so if you do not follow the video previously from uh, the the time i conducted the factor analysis and then um, got to this point i think you might need to watch the video again and then um, learn from this so i i hope you find so i hope you find the tutorial helpful and, uh, and then interesting thank you so much you can actually pause to uh, copy out some of these uh, references uh, if you want to um, work on this uh, on a similar analysis thank you so much and and thanks for watching if you like the tutorial you find the video helpful please give it a thumb up please like the video and share so that others can learn from the uh, tutorial thank you so much for watching